Okay guys, so this is going to be my third attempt at this video. I kept having some technical difficulties. But what I'm going to go over today is how to start your totem pole project. And I'm going to show you a few options here on video. You're going to be working in pairs on this project. So you're going to start out with a template and you could either pick a 10 inch template. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be folding the clay to create links like this. So there's 10 inches, there's eight inches, and there are six inch pieces, um, depending on the size you guys wanna go. I'm also going to ask you to make another link that's gonna be more of a decorative piece to kinda act as separators on the totem pole. So you could either go with the yellow strip or the gray strip. Now, I had pre-rolled out these slabs, and you guys are gonna wanna make these really big. And I'm just going to move my camera down now so you could see. I had previously rolled these out and I originally had a really big sheet of clay, but I went ahead and I cut one out in the last video, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. So I went in, I rolled out a slab, and what I did is I went in and I set the slab roller at approximately one and a half to two inches. I rolled it through one way, and then I switched the direction of the clay, made it a little bit smaller, and rolled it through the other way. You want to have these approximately a half inch, um, and I think that's going to be a good measurement so that they're all completely uniform. Now I already went in and I cut these both out of the same sheet of slab, and I measured this but I'm just gonna show you how to go in and cut with one of the small templates. So all you're gonna do, you wanna make sure that your slab is big enough by laying one of these pieces down. And you're gonna wanna lay it nice and flat because they might start to curl up on you a little bit and that's okay, we're just using this as a reference. Then you're gonna wanna take either an X-Acto tool or a pin tool or something like that and you're gonna wanna go in and just cut out the shape and you wanna try to make this as precise as you can because we are going to be linking these together as a class. We wanna make sure that they're pretty much uniform so that when we go ahead and we start to stack them over our base, they'll all seamlessly fit together. So once you have that, we're gonna take this clay off and you could use this as extra clay for your designs. We're gonna be sculpting up on these very similarly to how we sculpted up on our masks. Once you have both pieces cut out, you're going to need two things. I'm gonna move this piece to the side and I'm just gonna show you on this one. So the next thing we're gonna do you guys are going to grab a blue board like this, and you're also gonna grab a sheet of paper with a circle on it. This is going to allow you to see how you should wrap your totem pole link so that you could get a pretty even circle. Um, they might not all be perfect, but we're gonna to try to get them as uniform as you can. You're also gonna to wanna to grab a bunch of paper towels. Uh, so if you wanna get a, grab a roll for your table or just grab a whole bunch, um, you can go ahead and do that. Before we go ahead and attach this together, we wanna to do something called beveling the edges. So if we were to take this piece and just start to wrap it together, you're not gonna be able to have a seam where it meets. It's just gonna connect like that. We wanna connect them together a little bit better. Therefore, we're gonna cut these on opposite diagonals. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna make a little mark on the top going that way and another little mark going the same direction. And then I'm going to flatten out my slab so I could see where my bevels are gonna be. So a beveled edge is pretty much just cutting it on a diagonal. So you're gonna wanna go in and you're just gonna wanna go on a side angle and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it this way. And then I'm gonna go ahead on the other side and I'm gonna cut it the opposite way. So I'm just going in from the corner and cutting the edge off. And then tap it into place if it becomes a little bit off. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our board with our circle on it. And we're going to then take our totem pole link and we're going to wrap this around. And now I'm doing this by myself. You guys are gonna be doing this with partners, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. But you wanna make sure that you kinda of use this as a guide 
to set your totem pole piece up on. It should be approximately the same size as the slabs that you cut out. And I made sure we did it this way so that it lined up. So I'm just kind of going through. I'm gonna push it out a little bit from the inside and I'm gonna use this to try to make a perfect circle or as perfect as I could get it. I'm also gonna go in and just touch this up a little bit so it does match up because sometimes when you're just cutting them separately, you will notice that they become a little bit uneven. So you guys can see it from this side, how I have the two edges beveled like that. Now when I go and try to connect them, they're gonna fit really nice and seamlessly together. Now the next step for this is you're gonna wanna do something called slip and score. Now I have little containers like this and slip is inside. And slip is just clay mixed with water. I just make it in a blender. And score marks are just little hatch marks or little divots you're gonna make in the clay. So I'm just gonna go in on both sides and I'm just gonna make some little hatch marks. Just kind of little scrapes. And then I'm gonna go in on the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm then gonna take a little bit of slip and you could do this with your finger if you wanna take a tool or something. And you're just going to attach a little bit just to one side. You don't wanna to get too much on there or it's gonna get messy. I'm then gonna go ahead in and I'm going to attach these two pieces together. And what the slip and score marks are doing is you're taking the marks, you're inserting a glue in them and that's gonna help bind this together. Now, the next thing you guys are gonna be wondering is why do I have a whole mess of paper towels at my table? These are going to be very fragile and very flimsy in the beginning. So once you get your slip and score together like that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and stuff this with paper towels so that it makes it nice and sturdy for the next step. So I'm gonna push this to the side. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to roll out something called a coil. And you're going to take a piece of clay like this and start pinching it into a cylindrical like form. You want it to be rounded. And then you're going to just roll it out kind of like you would to make a pretzel or something like that. I'm going to be starting at my fingertips and going all the way to my palm here. And you're just going to start to roll out starting in the center and working your way out. So I'm putting more pressure towards the middle and then I'm slowly pushing out. And you wanna use a fairly thick coil for this, but not too thick. I would say maybe like about the size of your thumb or so. And then I'm just gonna clip the ends off like that. I'm now going to bring my totem pole link back into the situation and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to attach that going down the side. The reason we're doing this is to close off this seam and make sure that everything's going to stay together. And the reason I had you support this with paper towels was because as you blend this in, it might start to get a little wonky. So you guys are gonna wanna go in with your hand and maybe you could even have your partner hold it from the inside and you're gonna wanna smooth this out until it becomes completely seamless. So you'll notice I have a little bit of a bump there. You're gonna wanna keep smoothing this until it looks completely seamless with the whole link. After that, you're gonna wanna go in and you're gonna wanna take your fingers and you're gonna wanna smooth the top, make sure that's all nice and even and you wanna just kinda of make sure that you have a nice circular form. So this is step one. You're gonna to wanna to continue blending this whole coil in, but I don't think you need to um, watch me do that. Uh, I think you guys can go over it by yourself and I will of course help you. Um, so that's the basics, making sure you line it up with the circle and then you should have something like this and you guys will be ready to start sculpting your forms. Alrighty then.